What's up, y'all? Gunny back yet again. Alright. Now, as y'all saw in the last couple videos, uh, let's hear, I did the one where I announced that I would not be quitting dip. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> I got another couple months. I got till about June before I gotta actually quit. So, you know what? From now till June 25th, it's open season on dip. Alright, got something new today. Of course, y'all saw that dip video where I did uh, Dark as Fuck. And I'm just pissed off at this Richard 1055-2 cocksucker, motherfucker, whatever the hell his name is. Now, Richard, I got a little something for you that uh, my boy, Cody Eckert, who is in the United States Supreme Court sent me after seeing your comment and watching the video that I did that night that I saw your comment. Uh, let me pull it up right quick. Alright, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that was on the 6th. Yes. Alright. Went on my Facebook, saw this on my wall. Hey, Gunny. Told that guy Richard to fuck off because he doesn't know shit about the core. 1 slash 19 Alpha Company got your back. Ura. Now, for those of you who don't know, 1 slash 9, that means 1st Battalion, 9th Marines, Alpha Company. That is my boy Cody's unit right there. That's his battalion. That's his company. That's my boy. Ura. Now, most of y'all know this, what I say at the end of my videos. Semper Fi. That's Latin. It means always faithful. The full thing is Semper Fidelis. The Marines just shortened it to Semper Fi because it sounded better. But it has not lost its meaning from the Latin terms. Ura. That is... Well, when you see two Marines come up to each other, or they talk for a while, and then one of them says Semper Fi, the other one will say Ura. That's their thing. Uh, army, uh, rangers. They say hua. Then regular army hura, and so on and so forth. So each branch has their own little thing to say. United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi, hura. I sent back to Cody, Semper Fi Cody, and good to know that I got the one slash nine Alpha Company on my back. Hoorah. My boy Brady Pratt. I love it. I love it. He sent on that post. Gunny, that Richard guy is a fucking idiot. We need more supporters like you. Which all I do is promote the United States Marine Corps, the U.S. Army, hell, Air Force, Navy, whatever branch you want to go in the military, you fucking do it. Then, uh, Cody... <laughs> Cody goes, ooh, fucking raw, Pratt. Now, me, I, I think I'm like a one of a... Oh, shit, I didn't butt this over the fuck up, did I? <laughs> Sorry, I just got out of the shower. Alright. I think I'm one of a kind supporter. But, I do agree with Pratt. There needs to be more like me. Ah. Now, as I was saying a few minutes ago. Well, about, yeah, a couple minutes ago. I brought something back. This is a dip. I do believe I've only done one video of it, but I have mentioned it in several videos. This shit is very, very potent, I must say. It's wintergreen. It's a bear. But it's not a grizzly. It's a Kodiak. Kodiak wintergreen. Now, Obama... What the fuck is this? Fuck off! If we want, if we even cared about this little warning label right here, we wouldn't be dipping anymore. Or the one on the back. Go fuck yourself. You know what? I'm getting pissed. Uh, let me throw this fucking dip in first. Ooh, got a fucking. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I'm not retarded. Now, y'all notice how I just put that dip in, right? Ow! Hold on. Oh! Oh! Wrong side. <laughs> oh! Ah! I forgot over here is pretty fucking sore because that's what I. Ah! This side's pretty sore right now because I've been doing dip on this side for like the last week and a half. Non-stop, just, I get done with the dip, and it lasts maybe five minutes, and I'm like, oh hey, I'm doing something else, I need another dip. So I throw in another dip. Honestly, in the last week, I have probably gone through, in the last five days, let's see how much I got left in this. I've gone through three tins of Grizzly or Green, two tins of Grizzly Straight, this tin of Copenhagen, or no, this tin of uh, Kodiak, and I can't really count that tin of Copenhagen Winter Green because it fucking exploded all over my goddamn car. <laughs> I have some unfortunate news though for this video. Um, pretty soon, y'all see this real tree mud jug. You've seen it a lot before. I may have to give this back to my buddy. Well, actually, I'm going to be giving this back to my buddy as soon as I can. Well, actually, as soon as I get my job, which will probably be in the next week, week and a half, if not sooner. Three weeks tops. Well, two and a half weeks stops actually. And I should have my job. So, I'll be able to buy my own mud jugs. So I can give my buddy back this. He's dipping. So I'll get this back to you as soon as I can, buddy. Uh, I just need to get my job, make sure I can, you know, have a source of income to buy my own fucking mud jug. Uh, Probably gonna go with Southern Pride if they still got it on there, or uh, I don't know. I go with ACU camo. This something. Definitely buying my ass a fucking mud jug hat, cause you cannot. You have to have a mud jug hat. If you buy a mud jug, you gotta get the hat. I mean, come on. But ah. Today, oh wait, I was gonna say this a few minutes ago. Notice how I took that dip and I just went like that and put it right in. Now, if you have noticed in some of my other videos, I think it was one of my most recent ones, you saw me pull out my lip and put it in. Well, yeah, I kind of, I felt like a noob, even though I've been doing this for God knows how long. Because every time you see a noob, a new dipper, you see him pull out his lip and stick the dip in. I, I, I felt so ashamed of myself because I was watching Grizz Green Girl the other day and her how-to video with my buddy that just started dipping. At this time, he would like to remain anonymous. And I was thinking about being a dick and just telling his name, but I'm not going to. I have too much respect for the man. But, watch that video. And he caught me. He caught me on the dip. He's like, you're acting like a fucking noob like me. Pulling out your lip and put your dip in. So for the last week, I have been practicing, practicing, practicing. Taking the dip out, not pulling out the lip and just sticking it in. Because I can't have my buddy that's just starting dip outshine me. Because he's actually starting to be able to do it one-handed. I can do it like that. Just pull it out, put it in, there, done. No more. Now, if y'all know, I've seen one of my other videos. I started out at a very, very early age dipping. I had my first dip. 
seven years old. Oop, can't hold the residue coming out not. It was not this. Oop, there it is. I gotta tear that right over here. Well, an empty thing, because, you know. <laughs> First dip I ever had, half a horseshoe, Dres Green. Grizzly Winter Green Long Cut. Didn't puke, didn't get woozy, didn't turn my stomach, nothing. My cousin, oh. <laughs> Who will remain anonymous so my mom doesn't kill him for giving me a dip at seven years old? We're amazed as hell. I gotta stop drinking energy drinks before I do video, Jesus. Spitting every two minutes. But they were amazed that I was able to dip and not get queasy or nothing. Well, part about being a redneck. Now, what the fuck am I going to do? Oh, tonight, it's the uh, going away party for my cousin Eric. He's going to uh, the Marines April 3rd, I believe, if not sooner. Uh, they said that they might deploy, or, uh, send him down to boot a little early. Uh, he's still waiting on that confirmation, but he figured if he's going to leave early, he's going to do it right now, head to the party. here in about two hours he's actually having surgery he's got these little things on his head that he's got to have removed not serious I think they're like just calcium deposits or something but he wants to get rid of those before he goes to Paris Island then we're all gonna meet up with Cooks don't know if we're gonna drink because I gotta drive home we're gonna meet up with Cooks have a good old time can't wait till next Saturday St. Patrick's Day I got Irish in me, so you know what I'm going to be doing. Ah. But tomorrow, tomorrow is an exceptional day for the Saranac Lake High School Red Storm boys hockey team. They made it to the final four. They're in the top four teams uh, in the state. And they went to the final four this year. They're going to Utica tomorrow. Boys, I will see you there. I will pack a big old dip while I'm watching you. Hell, I might even pull out my cell phone, get a little bit of the game in there, and do a dip video while I'm there. So, you boys, everybody get ready. In Utica, there's a big red storm coming. It's going to hit. Go get them, boys. You know what you got to do. You got to win. You got to win hard. You got to play good. Keep it going. You make it all the way, boys. So that's going to do it for today. Got, that soon. Got some Kodiak in. Semperfly, have a nice day. Keep spitting and spit with pride, as it says in Mud Jugs. Because if you don't spit with pride, and you got one of these, you are disrespecting these. If you have one of these, you best be spitting with pride. I am. I got one. I'm spitting with pride. You keep it going. Get her done. Have a nice day, y'all.